Okay, for part two, I just want to show you how to use the calculator. So let's set up a couple of problems. Let's say mu is equal to 120, sigma is equal to 14. Can you find the probability that x is between, let's say, 112 and 122? And the answer is sure you can. I'm going to insist that you draw a picture for these problems. It will be get you confused if you don't, I guarantee it. Make sure your picture is consistent. 112 is on the left side of 120. 122 is on the right side of 120. So you know your probability is going to look like that area right there. Okay? So now what I want to do is I want to pull my calculator up. So I'm just slide that picture around. Let me get my calculator out and now we can just use the calculator. Okay, So I will do normal CDF there. Okay, remember, let me, let me put catalog help up there so you can see it. Normal CDF catalog help. It wants to see the lower bound first. The lower bound then is going to be this 112. It's the left side of the region. The upper bound is the right side of the region. The mean is 120. The standard deviation is 4. Okay? Plug it in, and there's your probability. So this probability equals 0.6687. So now I can go back to the problem, and I can say that equals 0.6687. Nowhere on here did I write normal CDF. That is calculator speak. I don't ever want to see it on your test paper, ever. Okay? This is the work. This is the work. This is the answer. Normal CDF is not the work, so don't show me that. Okay? One other thing. You might have problems that look like this. Sigma or mu is 94, sigma is equal to 10. I'm just making numbers up. What is the probability that x no, 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 no. What is the probability that x is less than or equal to 97? Notice you don't have an upper bound here. Let's draw the picture what this looks like. There's 94. x is less than 97. So it's this region right here. You know the region has to be greater than 50%, don't you? Right? Because we got greater than 50% of the area. So if you punch it in your calculator and you get a number less than 0.5, you know you did something wrong. How do you do this when there's no lower bound? Okay? What we do is just fool the calculator. I'll show you. Instead of putting in a lower bound, I'm just going to put in a really, really, really low number. And I like negative 99999. That's low enough, that's far enough down here so that we're not bothered by any extra leftover probability. The high bound will be 97, the mean will be 94, standard deviation will be 10. And that's how you do it. Oops. Negative nine 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 ninety seven ninety four ten. What did I do wrong? Oh, I did a PDF. I shouldn't. I should have done a CDF. Let's just pull a, pop a CDF in there. There we go. Okay. There's my probability. 0.6179. So this probability equals 0.6179. And that's how you do that. Okay. If you're going to do a problem. That's the other way. Mu is equal to 110. Sigma is equal to 20. What's the probability that x is greater than 115? Okay, we can do that. Draw the picture first. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh. There we go. Oops. 
little technical screw up there. Okay, now we'll draw the picture. Here's the picture. The mean is at 110. Sigma is equal to 20. 115 is going to be to the right, and x is greater than that. Okay? So in my calculator, I will do normal CDF. Okay, my low bound is easy, it's 115. My high bound is just going to be a big number. Good enough. 110 and 20. And there's my probability, 0 0.4013 equals 0 0.4013. And that's how you do CDF functions on the calculator. Fun stuff. See you tomorrow.